Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 and we're not fucking with this man at all. <laughs> In the Chicago niggas, I said, nigga, I said, nigga, we got this Chicago. Can, uh, can you speak on the 150k uh, Drake put out for Lincoln Fair? Oh, hell yeah, that ain't discreet. I can talk about this shit all. <laughs> let's, let's, oh, I like these conversations. This is straight shit. Okay, let me turn it up. <laughs> this bitch ass nigga, Drake sent some niggas to Atlanta, not knowing. See, this is, this, and this is why I say Kendrick fucked him up at. Kendrick Howard trickled down to me. He tried to come down here and get some niggas some money to put information on Kendrick. Now, mind you, I can't get information on Kendrick because I'm only tied to his his friend named L. L is actually on the timeline. List. L got less followers than me. People are so dumb, they don't realize it's people with like 100 followers or like 5K followers. That's, it's actually like related to this nigga. His sister is on fucking Twitter. All of us are on Twitter. They just looking at me because they got so many followers. I say, bro, y'all niggas don't really understand what's happening. So they come to me. They try to get one of my little homies, um, 150k. They try to get 100k, right? So I say, what they ask him? So he's basically saying that Drake's crew uh, went to Atlanta and tried to get with this guy and his homies, uh, this guy Cooley Bravo, um, some some cash to get information on uh, Kendrick. So Drake's true. They try to get information on Kendrick during this, uh, during the beef, during the battle that they was having, and um, it gets it gets real interesting. Check out what it just just let's just get into what he was saying. They say they want to know something about Kendrick. I said Kendrick ain't from Atlanta or from Chicago. So what, what the fuck they ask? They said, "What do you know about that? What do you know about Whitney and all that shit?" And I said, "Whitney who? My girl?" I said, "No, my girl ain't Whitney." They said, "No, Kendrick, Kendrick girl." I said, Whitney is up there with him. Now, mind you, that's a bombshell. They don't know that. Drake talking other shit about why you, live in, why you live in New York. I said, oh, they stupid. I said, take the money. I'm going to tell them a lie. <laughs> so I took the honey. I said, matter of fact, on top of that, I said, tell them put 50K on it and I'll tell them where you at. I told them Kendrick was in fucking LA still. They gave me the money and I gave 50K to my niggas. And they was like, oh, we got it. And I was like, why are you here? The next song, what was that song? Um, what song? Family Ties came out. And I, we laughed. And I said, that nigga's stupid. So my uh, Drake was talking about bait and all this shit. I said, nigga, we got your money. You ain't even getting nothing. <laughs> so he said that he's a legend that they came down and they gave him $150,000. And they got some, basically lied to him. They gave him some BS uh, information. They gave Drake some bull crap that he went and put into um the battle against Kendrick but it wasn't it wasn't real so this guy saying he got 150k from Drake but they won't go in on they won't go in on Drake like 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 hard body so he didn't get no information you dumbass nigga but I couldn't say it that reverse mold shit he did was so corny that was so corny that was so fake come on Drake is dumb bro I said this nigga he was so fucking stupid they gave me the I said give me 50 more k I'll tell you something I said, okay, um, they in LA right now. Mind you, Whitney and fucking Kendrick is in fucking New York at the time. That nigga was in the street. He doesn't, he doesn't, he's in the street. He doesn't know this shit. He's that money. Exactly. He a Canadian nigga trying to get information from black Americans from the hood. Don't they know nothing about this violence. That nigga, he got exploded. That nigga stupid. That's why I was talking crazy in the town the other day. I said, I got this nigga. I said, I got hundred people fans for nothing. And that's what Kendrick said. You came back from no receipts. I said, exactly, nigga, because you, you fucking stupid. You didn't know he was talking to, dummy. You fucking idiot. You gave me 150 back. I should have asked for 200. But that nigga went and put family ties up and, and then Kendrick smoked his ass. I was like, well, that's what you get for trying to. He said he tried to put money in the streets and you came back with no receipts. I said, exactly, nigga. <laughs> I like, stupid ass nigga. So basically what he's saying is he see he's seen Drake as a square. This guy just come and he asks all kinds of he asking all kinds of questions about the next man. And they looking at him as just a Canadian, a dude from Canada, come and saying some crazy stuff. So they say, Yeah, well give us the cheese. He give up the bread and they give him a bunch of crazy stuff. So Drake and his crew thinking that Kendrick is back in LA, but he's in New York City at the time. So they tell him. They just tell him anything, and this stupid dude go put it in the rat. Now I don't know if all of this is one hundred percent true, but this guy Cooley Bravo was is uh, uh, pretty popular on the underground scene, and he was popular enough for Drake's crew to uh, approach him to get information 
on Kendrick Lamar. Let's listen to some more. Okay. It's not the first time he's done that because it backfired the pusher too. This nigga can't learn from his mistakes, clearly. He think niggas gonna tell him for money. I was like, you have to understand something about hood niggas. Certain hood niggas that are broke will give you that information. If you run into a nigga who is not, the thing about him that fucked him up, I'm popular, right? So when you run into a popular nigga, you have to understand, I already have money. So you can't really get anything out of me that I don't already have. Like, Giving me a hundred K or hundred fifty K is like giving me some shit that I got for a feature. So I would take that any time of the day. He didn't realize he was talking to me. And I was like, I'm not gonna destroy a nigga from America for some Canadian niggas. I said, you got the game fucked up. So he lost. He lost his money. And then he had to take that air when Peter responded back to him in the face and said, Oh, this nigga's green. That's what we that's what we call it. We call it green. This nigga's green. You don't know. So if you don't see Drake trying to sue him, then it gotta be true. I mean, he's not gonna put, put if he just puts something out there that's just saying that Drake gave him this money and all this, and it wasn't true. You would hear Drake's crew or Drake uh, basically saying something. So it has to be true because they, listen, this thing getting crazy, man. Oh, man. <laughs> and he don't know shit because this ain't his shit. He didn't grow up in this shit. He don't know shit about it. And it's like that's so even like as a younger kid during Drake, I was like. Not even song. Like, what song was it? Um, it's, this was like like early 2010s. Um, I heard him, and I asked my brother. I, I was like, "Is he white?" And that, he, he just never listened to me because his voice just always sounded weird to me. Like you can tell from every step, the shit he's saying sometimes is not it's, it's not him. And he but it, it, and he Drake, made himself believe that was him. Drake real voice. He, Drake is a white boy, and there ain't no wrong being a white boy. But yeah, he is so square a person. You would never guess this is nigga saying. Me, me, and the other other nice. Me, me, and the other other nice. I'm like, when you hear him in person, he's like, oh, hey, cool, you're so nice. I'm like, this nigga, bitch. <laughs> My brother um, met him once, and he was like, that nigga's voice after tips me. <laughs> and I was like, what? Drake is a fucking nerd. You can tell me I'm from the hood. Not even, not even from the hood, because I know every black person not from the hood. But if you just talk to him, you can tell he, don't be, he was not raised around black people. That nigga is a square, like a motherfucker. That's how, that's how I got the 150 bands off his ass. And I said, I'll do it again. They want to talk about bait. Nigga, I'll bait your ass twice. I, I raised my money and I sent y'all back to Canada with nothing. And then Kendrick came on that bitch saying, You came back with no receipts. <laughs> and I said, Yeah, you talk about me, nigga, because I took y'all money, nigga. <laughs> I know Drake is in like a padded room looking around like, Can you hear me? I know, I know he's scared like as fuck. I know yeah. he's just looking around. He don't know how this happened. He in hell. He don't know how this shit I said, But, but also, he doesn't know that niggas, he thinks niggas like he thought he could just leave this trail of bodies and nobody was gonna say, Oh, wait, well, it's funny too because like people have been digging shit from the past too. Because now, like, with all this recent Drake pedo and shit, now we're talking about X again.